So let's play a little bit with the AI because it kind of do it kind of does some things I really don't like to be honest, like what you see right now, where he just rotates around. Let's about this. Let's zoom in a bit. I don't want to change the resolution to zoom in because I'm recording, so no need to have everything slowed down. You can tell what's happening just from this. So, first of all, let's fix their animations because, well, not that they matter, but we can make them be a little bit faster. So, let's see. It does has the enemy test. It has its attacks, damage one. Okay, I think that should be, uh, yeah. The first one that should go, should change, is this. It's really huge for, for what it does. As you can see, there's a long tail over here, so we'll just do, just blend it down here. And maybe we can even blend it even more. It's not going to look that pretty, of course, but that's what we have right now. Okay. Let's see for this. Okay, fine. Let's see what does this does. Yeah, I think that never gets cold uh, either way, so whatever. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's about it. Let's close the long tail. Okay, that's for the animations. Next, let's open up our AI controller. Let's see our snapshot first of all. And we have an attack, attack, attack one. We have two attacks and they roll. Okay, attack one, attack two. The roll is also an attack, keep that in mind. It basically rolls and then attacks. I kind of don't want this to happen. I don't really, it's kind of a special attack, more of a boss move, if anything, or, you know, we can just ignore it for now. And we're just going to stay into having him be on a deadlock like we have right here, like this. This is kind of really bad right now. He actually rotates the opposite way. So let's start with that. So if on your AI controller, let's find our, okay, he's dead. Visibility timer, okay, we don't need that. Once we have the detection going, we need to find the relative direction between, okay. Should not be directing. Recover time. Okay, this plays the animation. We know that this is happening. We don't know what this is doing, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. And I'm going to ignore this entirely. Let that compile. Hit play. And you can see we have a problem with our items as well. Well, I think that just does it. If it doesn't find a case, he will just rotate and look at us, which is more than fine. And could we see him? Well, you know, this happens with Dax also as well. Uh, 
okay that's good enough but let's I comment this and uh, let's see what we oh yeah I know why this was happening if we were closer than the stopping distance which his stopping distance is somewhat uh, big is somewhat uh, large value okay it's not a large value but I thought it would be that maybe it was the auto braking let's see Okay, uh, here's a deadlock again. Let's pause for a second. Let's see why we are in the deadlock. So, let's put this here. Let's attach it. And open it up. Okay, so let's move in is active and enabled then it sets the destination then we find the relative direction we're not interacting or oh, yeah so evade timer we don't really care for this action flag we don't have the action flag we set the relative direction then we find the target direction then we find the distance the angle the dot all of that then we look for the current snapshot then current snapshot is null then we handle the rotation and we are here but why Well, the rotation is definitely looking the wrong way. That's for sure. So this will also have been working fine, except this. For some reason, this doesn't work. And I see some duplicate code over here as well. Where, ah, here it is. I think that's the issue because the this is now controlled from this. Okay. Okay, close that. Then let's take this above. And that is in here. And actually let's just Let's just cut all of that and we're just going to drop them in here when we begin after it unfreezes okay and we're back let's just drop them in here this gets enabled but of course it can be overwritten then we have our transform rotation is set to the agent but this is kind of pointless I'm pretty sure we added this for a reason but I can't remember why so let's comment all of this out at least for now and we'll see if we need it to if we need to have them back on Yeah, well, for what it looks like. The deadlocks are not happening anymore. We could be rotating even faster, of course. But that's a design decision, not really much of a... of what we can do right now yeah it does rotate fine 
And of course you could play an animation that he turns around that he does a 360. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know why we had that removed, uh, why we had added that, but it could be to combat a problem like this. So, yeah, I think that does it. And, well, that was the one issue I wanted to resolve with that. But, let's fix one more thing and let, let's call it a day that one thing is not the save i'm just going to remove the save data i kind of want to fix the the backstab that it doesn't do any animation any damage okay so if i'm going and selecting the enemy and then we're going to say if you look at the stats just notice what the health is doing once we are doing the backstab absolutely nothing okay so how do we fix that the simplest way to do this will be to go on the actual backstab animation we have let's see well we can either do this from we are, I think it makes a little bit more sense if we do it from the player's animation. Okay, so we need to find it in here, backstab. Back. Oh, come on. Open door. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this one. Party attack. And because it's, damn it. So the animation. Let's say here. Should be a good time to add the damage. We are at frame. 25 add an animation event let's just call it apply backstab or parry apply damage we will know what that does later okay so now we have an animation event we can go on our player on our animator hook and apply that as well and we will say public void apply damage then apply damage then let's just go on the controller and say apply damage as well okay let's go and create that Okay, let's find the backstab. Old weapon, combos, to combo, update lockable targets, create index. Let's put it down here. Apply damage, then We have a can be backstab, get backstab. For our player, we don't do anything. But let's see where we are calling this from. From the variable, yeah, from here. Okay, okay, close. So we have our current action where we can get how much damage we do. Well, actually, no, the backstab and the pipe damage actually yeah, are used kind of differently. So I'm just going to store the I variable, to be honest. So let's rename this to stored 
πάρει απλά. I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to remove this, and then we can just do store variable. So on apply damage or apply damage if stored parable is not null. Let's see what we have in here. We have the unparried, we have the transfer, the get parried and get backstab. We can add the void apply damage. Let's pass some value. Close that. Then start parable dot apply damage. I'm just going to write 25 for now, whatever, or 35. Then we're going to implement the interface, the new method should probably be. Ah, we already have the apply damage. So now we should not do it this way. We should not name this apply damage. We should name this pass damage to hit. something like that apply damage uh, yeah okay this is not actually wrong because it is overloaded but we don't want to yeah we don't really want to have the same the same thing so cut that paste this in here and this now needs to be pass damage to hit okay this is the player so it doesn't really matter to him we don't really need to we're not going to write anything in here we can say stats health equals or minus equals damage if we want to of course but the correct way to do this will be to have the on damage hit on the enemy so on the AI controller let's implement this again pass damage to hit and we have the on hit method that we already do on damage this does need an action container though So maybe let's pass the actual damage container or how do we call that? Let's pass the action container instead. Action container damage then on damage damage okay pass damage to hit so in here we could just create a new action container entirely let's call it damage new action container then of course just pass the 35 you don't really need a react animation for this so we're passing the damage uh, but this could override the animations we already have so just to be safe we're going to have to disable a few things uh, mainly the play target animations okay so on damage is this coming from yeah it it's coming from the i damageable so i damageable on damage bull don't interrupt 
animation save that then let's go and change this on damage okay so if not don't interrupt animation play an animation otherwise don't bother with it and you can also say that you don't want to kill the controller if health is below zero okay we need to change this on the controller as well the on damage I'm just going to add a bull in the signature. We don't really need anything else. Don't interrupt animation. At least for now, we don't need anything else for this, but I guess it doesn't hurt if we add it. If not, don't interrupt animation. Then play the animation. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's see why if this complains because we have to implement the interface pass damage to hit, okay let's see on apply damage or apply damage okay this is useless right now okay so that should do it that will trigger the the event let's see what else we do we need on uh, okay let's pass through uh, let's pass false in here we want to interrupt any animations and pass damage to hit ai controller don't interrupt animation true maybe we should rename this to something else from pass damage to hit okay let's say pass backstab Downwards. let's see okay clear everything and let's hit play okay let's lock on him and true enough you can see that we do have we do damage and let's try and okay so we do also do backstab damage and we also do normal damage which is perfect okay the only thing that it's going to be slight of an error is when you actually kill him by backstab he tends to ragdoll right away so let's see what this is this does not rotate yeah okay we can just move this inside here because we don't really need them oops okay now the idea for the for this is that you're actually going to calculate a new damage pattern from the current action you have okay because you will have more than well an enemy will have resist resistances and stuff like that okay so the idea is that you're going to calculate that as an action as a new action and then pass it to to actually do the damage okay so that's it for this part as well as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything of course consider supporting my patron so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time